tube formation assay is an in vitro test to study the molecular mechanisms underlying several steps that lead to the formation of new blood vessels. This assay allows to identify compounds and signaling cascades associated to angiogenesis. With one test, we are able to show that a natural compound like RGWE reduces the ability of endothelial cells to form tube-like structure do not affect cell viability and that this effect depends on the activation of the MEC-ERK pathway. It is important to perform the test with the right number of cells. In fact, too few or too many cells could not allow the right formation of tubes. For this reason, it is advisable to perform a preliminary test to find out the correct number of the cells. Olga Pastorino, PhD student in my lab, will show the procedures. First, collect rutagraviolans leaves during the spring and summer months. Put 250 grams of chopped leaves in a conical flask and add 1 liter of distilled water, boil, and filter as described in the manuscript. The next day, use a lyophilizer to lyophilize the leaf extract. After obtaining the powder, weigh it and divide it into aliquots. Culture the Huvex in endothelial cell growth medium according to the text protocol. When the cells reach 80% confluency, passage the cells at a ratio of 1 to 3. Use the cells obtained between passage 2 and passage 5. Once the passaged Huvex reach 70% confluency, transfect them with 1 microgram of the vector containing the gene of interest. Combine 1 microgram of DNA with three microliters of...